Hey everyone, welcome to today's art video. Today I am doing something a little bit different. I am working on some merch designs. Or I guess just one design for this video. I kept mentioning it over and over again that like I was going to try to put more stuff up onto my Teespring store after Mardi Gras and it's after Mardi Gras so I'm not like super busy anymore so I can finally work on this stuff. I'm pretty excited. This is one of the designs that I had been wanting to do for quite a while. I mean it's pretty simple. I feel like a lot of my merch designs are probably going to be pretty simple unless it's like me just putting some of my artwork on some of the shirts and stuff which I think I'll still do but when it comes to like trying to do something specifically for the merch store it's going to be more simple stuff like this so you might recognize this design I've actually drawn it onto a jacket on a different drawing that I did a while ago. A lot of times when I'm drawing like the fashion and stuff in my pieces, I'm drawing stuff that like I want to exist or like that I like. <laughs> so since I have access to getting it printed and selling it and stuff, I figured why not actually make it a real thing. So yeah, I'm really excited to like finish this one because I'm probably going to immediately buy one um, for myself. <laughs> so this is based on the phrase, too weird to live, too rare to die, from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I've seen different versions of this, one where it's in Japanese, or partly Japanese, where it says, too kawaii to live and too sugoi to die. Um, I'm probably really butchering the pronunciation but anyway kawaii means cute and sugoi means cool and I kind of went in a similar fashion I'm doing two kawawa to live and two hanep to die which are those are Tagalog words or Filipino words kawawa is like it's like um, when you're sad or upset it's like oh you're kawawa or you're being kawawa or whatever that's how my mom would use it anyway and then henep means cool or awesome. And yeah, I, I've never seen people do this with a Tagalog word, so I thought it would be kind of cool or fun or whatever. The little cat guy that I have on there, um, I didn't really, uh, I just kind of like it. <laughs> I draw a lot of like black cats like that because of my own black cat gremlin um i guess it's kind of based on him um i just thought it would be a kind of cute little face to go with the wording it's got the little tear because it's being kawawa but it's grinning really big because it's henep and he's got his little crown and stuff so yeah not really anything super deep to this <laughs> it's just kind of like cool imagery that i like so I'm going to stick this on the back of a few sweatshirts and stuff. Maybe shirts, I'm not sure yet. If people want something like that, like if you guys would want it on a shirt and stuff, let me know and I can just put them up on shirts as well. But my main focus is that I want it to be on the back of sweatshirts. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm pretty excited to get this up there. By the time this video goes out, those products will be live. So 
Um, it'll probably be in the little carousel thing like underneath the video and I'll have my store linked down below as well. So if you were interested in getting one of these, then check that out. I'm definitely getting one soon and we'll be sporting that all the time. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for checking out my art video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different than my usual stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to try something different today. I was going to be doing this stuff anyway, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later this week.